Welcome back everyone. Sorry I was absent last week. I was actually out of town for work and I didn't plan accordingly and I didn't record a little video for you guys. But anyway, I am back and I wanted to show you uh, three of my most recent um, acquisitions for my Monteverde Jungle Ink collection. So I already have three and the ones that I have are lion chameleon and zebra uh so i have three more elephant gorilla and turtle and well i thought i was going to swatch all six of them here but i'm not happy with how much space i have left so i'm just not going to do that instead i'll just swatch the three new ones and i thought about maybe since i do have space for two more i may do these two others which i actually i received from atlas stationers um during their uh pelican hub event so they had goodie bags uh each person had uh, a bottle of ink in there along with the uh the pelican ink of the year um, and then i won a giveaway so the other ink was included in the giveaway uh, so i may just do that since i do have the space uh, so, since I've decided we're going to do that, let me just go ahead and write the names here. Okay, so we are good to go. I have my trusty dusty nib holder, which by the way, um, these are already back in the shop and as of right now, it's Saturday morning. I'm recording. We have two of these left, and that is it. We won't be requesting any more of these unless a lot more people really want it, and then it will be in the future. It won't be anytime soon. So I'm just two left, and the blue ones are completely sold out. Um, so yeah. And of course, I have my Kakimori steel nib. Um, which are also in my shop. And this is one of my favorites. I do have the brass, but it's in another nib holder right now and I just wanted to use this one. Um, so, okay, let's get to swatching. We are going to start from the top, which is, oh, puppy hair. Uh, so I have elephant. I Yeah, I think I wanted to keep everything um, alphabetical order until I realized that these are not, but then again, these are not from the same collection. See how my brain works? like. You know, I need to separate those out. But anyway, for right now, we're swatching. And I am using this really cute um, Maruman notebook. It's from their Sept... I Sorry, I don't... I'm probably going to butcher this. But Sept Cooler line. And it's the white color or off-white. Uh, I was carrying it around, so it got a little dirty. But I, it's very easy to clean, so I should do that. Uh, so yeah, and I'm covering this because one of the, I guess, drawbacks from this notebook is that you can't, well, can you? Yeah, I guess you can do that. So maybe I'll do that. I thought you couldn't, but you can. So alrighty, let's just do that. But yeah, this is, this has become one of my favorite um, line of notebooks. Um, and they do have like, I think two other sizes, like at least a, um, uh, an A5 size or B7, I believe. Um, and I'm actually thinking of carrying them in my shop. Don't tell them though, but they're just fabulous. So anyway, let me stop talking and let's get to swatching. So the first color is elephant. And you know how the Japanese um, stationery shops have a cool little gadget so you can open it without damaging the box. I need to get one of those because I don't like denting my box, but it's okay. Well, I didn't realize this was wrapped like that, but hopefully that's not, hopefully that won't take us too long to open. Okay, here we go. Elephant, put that little box right here and let's get to swatching. None of these have shimmer, so that's okay. The color is really funky considering it's a purple, but it's an elephant. You would think it was like 
a gray color, but that's okay, you know. Alrighty. A lot of ink on my on my nib. And should I write a little something? What's that one phrase? The lazy no, the something the fox jumps over the lazy dog is it the is it just the fox the red fox yeah because you need a you need an r the something jumps over well no over the hmm, i'm not gonna do that okay whatever let's just swatch the colors and then I'll figure out the um what I'm going to write and actually it already dried pretty fast so let me show you uh this is cute I love this little notebook this is gonna be so fun yeah and let me see I did put a lot of ink on the page so I did bleed through a bit um, but that was, of course, my fault. It's a lot of ink, you know. It's not, you're not going to put that much ink down with a pen. So, don't worry too much about that. Plus, let's be honest, we should probably start using our notebooks more often. So, if you have to skip a page or, you know, not write on the back of a page, then that's okay too. How many of us have, maybe, I won't say hundreds, but like tens of notebooks just waiting to be used. I know I do, and um, yeah, that's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem, it's a good problem to have because I do like my notebooks, but anyway. Okay, let's get on to Gorilla. Looks like a reddish color. Oh. Yeah, I really need that little tool because see, I'm gonna start ripping the box and I don't want to do that okay so we have gorilla I didn't take this off but that's okay so let's swatch that now. Oh, and it looks like that's the A6 size, by the way. So it looks like our nib is as clean as it will be. Let me just take just a little bit off. That's a nice little grapey color. This is already starting to look like a fall palette. So I am very here for it. By the way, um, fall weather lovers, our time is here. Today, it was nice and crispy outside. I already went for my walk this morning at 7.30 and it was chilly. So I think it's like 46 degrees here in Chicago. So it was really, really crispy weather, but nothing a little um sweater and pair of sweatpants and a little beanie won't help you through so that was my little morning friends okay let's do the next color this is turtle oh but let's sorry i'm like getting ahead of myself but let's look at gorilla that's pretty right those two colors already together pretty now, a turtle is going to look a little bit off just because of the this turquoise color and this shade of blue. But, I mean, off with, within the fall palette color. It's still, it's still probably going to be a pretty color. Monteverde colors are pretty fun, pretty good. Um, but not a fall color, in my opinion. The little characters are super cute, so... I think I almost have all 10 of them. Um, I wonder which 
Or is it only six? I wonder which other ones I may be missing. I think I, okay, let's make sure. My nib is super clean. This is a lighter color, so I don't wanna mess that one up. Okay, turtle. Oops, I think I took too much off. <laughs> Very interesting. Hmm. I wonder how this color compares to one of our favorites, which is uh, the Monarca Mar Caribe, which is in this shade of um, blue turquoise color. Um, I should bring that up. And I have it right next to me, actually, so it'll be easy to do that. But first, let's look closer at the color. So that's turtle. It's still drying. It's funny. You can see that the, you know, when a page is wet, you can see it very clearly on this. Let me see. They're all doing the same thing because I'm putting so much ink in one spot but it's not actually it's more ghosting than bleeding but then it's some speckles of bleeding but then it's not actually bleeding onto the other page so you'll be okay put a sticker on it put some washi tape on it how cute is this little notebook though so cute okay so that was that color I'm glad we're doing more because, yeah, my little page would have looked really sad. <laughs> I should have planned this accordingly and make sure I measured out the enough space for the other six, the other three colors that I have. But that's okay. That's okay, friends. Um, by the way, I'll have to repost something that I just saw on Sky Bambi's uh, stories, and it's about creativity and how creativity was it that it's not a a talent or a skill it's basically just the art of playing and moving things around and which it makes sense because yes you're just trying to figure out like okay will this work and you just move things here and then you realize okay no that's not gonna work let's try something else you know so it's that uh, you have to let go of your fear, basically, because you will never find the correct answer until you try something. So anyway, that was basically what I remember from the small little clip, uh, but it was really good. I know some people tend to be perfectionist, and that actually is not um, not ideal because, yeah, I... I just have stories like from friends in college who were big perfectionists and they ended up having to be held back a year because they would never turn in any project, any completed projects because to their standards, it wasn't perfect. But then you didn't, comp you didn't turn in anything. So then what are you being graded on, you know? So yes, just let go and let your creativity flow, friends. Let me get some scissors because this is giving me a headache. Well, I didn't find scissors, but when in doubt, use your teeth. <laughs> it was loose enough that there was space anyway, so, okay. So this is Fire Opal. And let me just make sure that the nib is as clean as possible. It does look clean, so I think we'll be okay. Now this is, looks more like a rusty color, so let's see. And, oh, again, this was the one that I won from Atlas Stationers. I was like, where did I get these colors? I'm going to take a little bit off because it does take quite a lot of ink. Oh, yes, this is right up our fall theme color palette here, friends. It's perfect. So, in real life, in front of me, it does look a little bit brighter. Uh, a little bit more orangey than it's appearing on the screen but maybe if I bring it up closer we'll get the same result okay whoops inky fingers okay there you go that's yeah that's a lot better than what it was looking at first but yeah 
that's pretty. This is how our palette is going so far, friends. These are nice. I'm really liking them. They're dark enough. But still, like, fun. This turtle one, hmm. It's pretty. I'm sure it doesn't look like it's, like, too light. So it'll be interesting to see in a writing sample. Um, which I'll do eventually. <laughs> Okay, let's do the last color on here, and that's Kindness. Now, where is this from? Oh, the Emotions Ink Collection. And the Opal one, Fire Opal, is from the Gem Gemstone Ink Collection. Um, So, Kindness, Emotions. Hmm, interesting. That's sealed tight. Okay, well, I'm having a really hard time opening this, so I guess I am not opening it. And so there we go. I'll try later. It's just really tight for some reason, and I don't want to force it enough that I'm, like, spilling the ink. Oh, yeah, that's not working. Okay. So we'll just deal with that um, at a different time, different video. And it'll be okay. But so far, this is our little color palette, friends. Accidental because, oops, I didn't think this was gonna, I mean, I didn't think of a theme. It just, it's my most recent colors that I have. So, yeah. What do you think, friends? Let me see if I can get some writing samples going and I'll show you right back. Alrighty, friends, we are back. I just wrote random things, so don't pay attention to the actual text. Uh, I just wanted to show how it worked. And yeah, it's pretty nice that the elephant is like pretty dark enough that you can't even, you can't even really tell it's purple. You can in person. It's a little bit darker on screen. Um... But yeah, it's really nice. And I'll try to do, like, I'll show you in front of direct lighting as well. So you can see it. Maybe can we? Yes. Okay. So there's that purple. And, but I'll show you here up close because that's kind of hard to see. But yeah, see how. Yes. Yes. And Gorilla was really pretty. I think that's going to be a favorite for, like, professional settings, but still, like, keeping it fun turtle was a little funky in my opinion just because it is light but i'm also writing super tiny because this grid is what um it's three millimeter and i'm actually writing within the grid so it is a little hard and it's not impossible to read it's still quite legible in my opinion but maybe more for art um Fire Opal is super pretty. Um, I think that's going to be another favorite, again, for the fall season. Um, so, yes, friends, these are all of them. And I'm going to move on to direct lighting so we can check them out. So, let's do that. Well, I was going to go to my favorite window, but I didn't have to go that far. So, okay, here is Elephant. And as you can see, there is... Um, that hint of purple in the writing, you know, so it's really not bad. Um, gorilla. It's a deep red. Turtle. And fire opal. What do you think, friends? What do you think of the little notebook? It's cute, right? Excuse the mess behind me or in front of you. <laughs> Just don't look, don't look. But anyway, friends that is my current um this is my most recent acquisition of inks um monteverde did provide me the elephant gorilla and turtle inks and atlas i won the fire opal and kindness from their pelican hub giveaway so anyway thank you to both of them and if you're interested in any of these colors i actually have uh a an affiliate code with Atlas Stationers. Uh, it is Eric10. 
and I think you get, yeah, you get 10% off. So check that out. Um, also, if you need any other pens or whatever, notebooks, you can also check them out uh, there and use my affiliate code. Let me know if you use it. I would love to know what you get. Thanks for watching, friends. I'll catch you again next time. Happy crispy fall. Bye-bye.